Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Schnozcast. Your hosts tonight, Bob and Nick and Corey and Todd, all of us together once again. <coughs> oh. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Now I gotta let the music go. I feel like I don't. I can't slide back down again. Can't leave it on that. Ooh. We're we're all okay, everybody. Even just, yes. just so you just so you feel a little bit better about it. Even Wheezy. Yep. All right, gentlemen, how are you? Oh, not so bad. Excellent. Uh, before we even get into housekeeping, while the while the shots are ice cold, uh, let's let's do that. Hey, I have a question, Bob. Shoot, Todd. Well, you asked how everybody was doing. You didn't go around the room. You didn't wait for I anybody to not. answer. You, you just went, let Nick. Threw it out to the group. Thing. No, no, I threw it out to the group. How you guys doing? How you fellas yeah, doing? Yeah, first of all, you didn't let it's Nick everyone. do anything. Nick's the only one that talked. <laughs> Look, I thought we weren't supposed to talk over each other. We do I'm that every fabulous. goddamn weekend. We do I am fabtabulous. Can I see this motherfucker or what? I am. I am. Fabtabulous. I need to see this I'm giant. I'm happy that you're fucking, fabulous, sir. I need to see this giant melon. He's for whatever reason he has the Schnozcast logo on the screen, and I need <laughs> to see someone when I'm telling him off. All right, while he's working on that, let's uh, let's do a shot. If you are listening or watching us, uh, please join us. Pour yourself something and join us in a shot. Cheers. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There he is. That's how you start a goddamn episode. Sweet sassy molassy. Might be time to pull that out of there. Newport News. The butter shots. Oh, I replaced it with the other one. It's getting a little, I, a little I, icy. Butter shotty. I replaced it with the other one. That's because right. it's uh, 90% water. That's why it's... <laughs> it's. And it's 100% tasty. Yeah. It's uh, 90% water, 10% sugar. <laughs> That's why it's so good. All right, and here we go with the dance that Corey and I do every weekend. Uh, if you are new to the podcast, thank you for joining us. Please stick with us every week. You can find us out on the streaming services, out on Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, or anywhere else where you can get a podcast. You can also follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, at Schnozcast. Uh, if you're one of those old school people that likes to correspond, you can send us an email to schnozcast at gmail.com, or you can call or text us anytime, day or night, at 618-SHOCKER. On the shocker line, open and ready for your calls, questions, and queries. Questions and queries. I love it. I, I would rather hear questions and queries every week. Or grips or bitches. If they were really old school, wouldn't they need a P.O. box? I was going to say, uh, you can reach us at 1245 Schnozcast Lane, <laughs> Schnozcast, United States, 12376. They would send a telegram, Todd, <laughs> if they were really old school. Or they would release more- a pigeon. A little Morse code for you. <laughs> yeah. And the pigeon would would fly it all the way to one, two, three, four, five Schnazkas Lane. Go with God. <laughs> oh man. Everything okay? Yep. A little cinnamon burp. A little cinnamon burp. Cinnamon verp. Cinnamon verp. I I, I did wanna oh. nice. I did want to bring in something, fellas, because this was in my notes from a couple of weeks ago, and I mm-hmm. and I and I only hinted at it, but I never got to it. And I had, I had a, uh, a note in my notes <laughs> in my notes section, <laughs> which is where you put crazy your notes. Where you, where you put your notes. a note in my uh, note. So book. crazy, you would find a note there. <laughs> yep. exactly. And the note only says pull the note out of my the only, bra. The note only says shitting at Lori's. Oh God! Now. She like certainly bad. makes her way into a lot of shows. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, uh, so I was I was at her house and uh, you were defecating. <laughs> I needed to go back to my house anyway, mm. right? So we were like twenty minutes apart. That's weird how that's prefaced like that, but okay. Um, uh, it's Beth and I got up in the morning. I needed to go back there, and she was going to follow me at some point. She was just packing up her stuff. So I'm like, all right, I'll I'll see you there. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go there because I, I, I'm gonna, I gotta take a shit. You didn't tell her that. Wait a I minute, did. I'm confused now. Where yeah. are you? T- where are you dropping a loaf? Uh, I told her like, since I'm going back to my house anyway, I'm just gonna go yeah. there and I'm gonna take a shit. And she, okay, okay, she was it, trying to be. It rubbed her the gentleman. wrong way. Well, that's what I thought, but she's like, I don't understand why you don't want to take a shit at my house. This is gonna take a dark turn. Oh no, no there's no Burr. dark turn as much as uh, <laughs> I, I turd, want some input maybe. from my from my from my my friends, I'm my male chest. my male count counterparts. 
Yep. Uh, Cleveland Steamer? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> That's, That's what you think thinking. I would be elated if someone didn't want to take a shit at my house. And that's yeah, what yeah, I was thinking. I'm exactly. Like, I, I, I'm like, I have you're doing shit. the gentlemanly thing. I said I have shit at your house before. In this particular case, I don't have to urgently take a shit. I'm going home anyway. Yeah. Why well, marbleize her toilet? Between the two, I'm like, I probably, if I had to put them on a scale, I would rather shit in my own toilet. Wait, hold on. The yeah. shit or what? Because <laughs> you're holding the up two, scales. The two choices. Yes. Okay. So can, I would can, put a choice on these scales, not the shit itself. Can I point but, out that yes. you already made one mistake? Oh. Why are you telling her yeah. that you have to take a shit? Why exactly. are you not just being like, you yeah, know, you got to run home? Got to grab, she, she grab asked, some stuff? She asked me why I couldn't wait. Oh, you just wait oh, 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 no, no, no. I got to drop a deuce. Exactly. exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> She's like, why not drop the deuce here? Exactly. I'm trying right. to blow up your phone. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. okay. And so she was I, upset. She, uh, <laughs> well, I will page. say, I don't know if she's upset, but <laughs> she certainly was. It wasn't. It wasn't like, a, oh, you do what you got to do. Like, it was more like, do you not want to, like, do you, are, are you not comfortable here? Do you not want to defecate in this bathroom? <laughs> I mean, oh, it was, uh, that was the only oh, thing she my. didn't say, right? Yeah. Honey. And I'm like, look, I don't understand what the big deal is. Sweetie, baby, I'll be, I, I, I'll be right outside in case exactly. you need anything. <laughs> Rem- remem- remember not to strain like we talked. Well, actually, cl- clarifying question, Bob. Everything all right in there? Yeah, no, no go you, ahead. I refilled so, the toilet paper. Or did you need more? I t- have more. T- Todd, go ahead. You're cool. this, this, might, this, might, this might put me on a bit of an island, but I'm going to ask this question, Bob. Sure. Do you guys have the exact same make, model, of toilet, like same height, same width, same bowl, di- bowl uh, diameter, all that stuff? No. So that might be, see, again, if a lot of people have them little dick, Toilets, the ones with the little hole where your wiener's all freaking bent all the way back to your butt because it's just too small opening like for this your. This is where we're losing the poor people. Yeah, this is where we're losing the poor people again. There. I didn't take us there. Yes, they. We. We. N- neither one of us have <laughs> we, helicop- we, we. helicopter toilets. Is the water too high? Because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you teabag your balls. In well, it? I mean, I, I mean, mean, there's places no, like I, sometimes like, I don't like when 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 the tip touches the water. <laughs> no, that, no, dude, that, I've that been in bathrooms where I'm like. Man, I could never ever live in this house. That's the first thing I have to go. I hope that our audience appreciates it. This is where we went immediately after housekeeping. Does right? The, does the right mu- to does shitting? The, does the mushroom press against the porcelain? Is it too close? <laughs> nope. Nope. But they're not the same. But it's not uncomfortable. It's is not there, like I'm like I. I would never shit in that toilet. Is there a bidet? Uh, at my house, yes. Hers. At her house, no. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. You should have led <laughs> with that. Exactly, oh Lori. But I thought be honest, Get on the board. Because the Get honest on the answer, board. The honest answer is, I'm already going there. No. You want me to wait here and no. shit while you're packing? Yeah. So that we can drive and follow each other. We weren't even going to go in the same car. <laughs> and then, we were exactly. Two separate cars. You taking your shirt There's off no reason for me. Uncomfortable. And I and I get why she would. If I had never taken a shit at her house. I get where she might be like, well, that's kind of weird. Do you not? Is there something wrong with my house? Yes, you don't but have I've, a day. I, but I, I've already shit here. You've, but, you've, you've she, she asked just, where are you going. I'm going to take a shit. That you know that I have. She just I don't really know, wanted you to shit there. Just that day. really, it was. It just struck a nerve where she's like, I don't think you like being in my house and shitting in my house. I don't know why that is. That is a but, weird <laughs> conversation. So, to so, have. so just oh, just for the record, that's why I brought Bob. it up. That's Bob, why I put it in my notes. I'm like, immediately, like, I got home, and I'm, like, shitting at Lori's. Right in the one note. Did you did you tell her that I want to go home and be clean because I'm not a heathen like you over here, and I would love to use my bidet? Exactly. It has a warm uh, water. No, freaking... I didn't. No, because I, I, I have. Because you wanted to like stay I've in a always had a bidet. <laughs> I, I've. Uh, yeah. But we've You've advanced matured. as a society. <laughs> once, uh, once the pandemic uh, was uh, uh, descended upon us, that's when I got the bidet. Before exactly. then. I spent, you know, 49 years not using a bidet. It's fine. Nah. I don't have a problem with that. Nah. So at the end of, at the end of it, I'm All like, right. you know what? You go ahead and pack. I'm going to go to your bathroom right now. I'm going to take a shit. Oh, no. You right. What else was right, I? What else right was I? Tub? So- now you're shitting on command. <laughs> hey, Bob. I know we're, we're getting ready to get on a plane. You better get in that yeah. bathroom and take a dump, buddy. I'm, like, I'm not going to freaking hear it. It appears as though this is really important to you. I don't care. I've explained my... My point of view and my my the the the, the stance I'm taking, I, I uh, I'll, if you really want me to, 
Here I go. How so, how uh how are her farts a little smellier, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, no, we've no, that 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 has nothing to Yo, do. First of all, what is you John, can disregard why are you guys trying to make- any answer he's going to give right now is yeah. going to be under duration, so exactly. he, it's yeah. not going to be true. Sure, this yeah. is bad. Sure, this is bad. No, no, I will say she's uh, and I, I don't think she'd have a problem with this. She's one of those people where if if the two of us go out for brunch and we're both going to have like an egg scramble, whatever, like l- lots of eggs, she's fine, and I'm like. You should probably uh, stay away from me for like a good twenty minutes once you get home because uh, eggs are one of those things. I still that, don't get yeah. that. What? Lot, lots Why? of gas. Eggs it, give you gas. It's beans, yeah. dude. Not eggs. No, no, eggs and beans. I'm not saying it's not beans. I'm saying it's also beans. Hold on. But <laughs> eggs, you know. sauerkraut. I don't. I don't eat sauerkraut. Guacamole. You haven't nope. had good sauerkraut then. Uh, beans. Beans. Yes. Those are all gaseous so, foods. Eggs, none yeah, of those sure. foods really give me gas. Not, uh, yeah, I stay away gas. from sauerkraut um, and guacamole. I, I, I think I'm okay. I, I but, will uh, say this. <laughs> hey, 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 so here's the funny thing. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I don't know that I took a dump for the first two years I met Mary. I was. This a ho- is I was exactly a holder why I brought it up. I'm like, have you? Do have you guys? Ever I, been I was a holder. Thing? I were, was a holder, and I, and and in fact, so you were even, like, yep, yep, I had a great time. Yep, yep, got to go. I will call you when I get home. Got to run. No, I never, like I never, ever. miles an hour. Oh, to get in, in, in my, in my, hold on. In my lifetime, I've only had like two instances where I'm like, I can't hold. I've never been like a fr- super frequent pooper. It seems like, I mean, as, as you get a little bit older, you get more on a schedule. But I mean. Can I, can I use that as the episode title? Super freaking pooper. Exactly. First <laughs> I mean, of all, but, you don't ask us about titles. You just fucking do it. I, this yeah. Is just, yeah, I just do yeah. it. Yeah, I'm d- but I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm but just to this day, we, Mar- so Mary and I have been married for forever. We live in the same house, and no way I take a dump if she's even in the bedroom next to the the bathroom. Well, like, I, thing, I go to a whole the other por- portion of the house. Of the, the one good thing that came out of this, Todd, is that I now can feel free to announce that I need to take a shit, and that I'm going into her bathroom to shit in her toilet. And if I plug it up, like that, this is this is your doing. She'll not be mine. really happy about it. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I, and guess, that's and, and I should thank her because that is that that is a level of freedom that I did not have before. Well, I yeah, suppose so. you, you two have reached. You're, you're descended into not a gentlemanville. I thought, we were gentleman. but not I'm not due to anything that I did. This yeah. is I'm just trying to be the your lady. Man want, that, your lady wants a rough neck. Want, I guess. Yes, she, <laughs> she wants a rough neck. <laughs> Apparently, Lori wanted a muddy butt. Oh, she wanted a rough neck. Yep. So I, I, I she do wants have, a bad boy. I yeah. can very, very much relate to that. Uh, the first time I ever went to Danielle's apartment, when we first started dating, uh, she made spaghetti and with the elbow noodles, and it was fantastic. <laughs> and the elbow noodles made me take it. The, the elbow noodles, like I caught in the, in the crooks of your colon. <laughs> if they'd been, and you're like, oh, fuck. been fine. So we were sitting there, and it wasn't I, the size of his elbow. I, I started, I'm like, oh, my stomach's not, uh, not doing so hot. It's the elbows like, that crook in them. I was like, hey, I'm like, were those wheat noodles? She's like, yeah. Oh, I was do like, you have a gluten thing? Oh, I no, I, I well, apparently for those I did. He's a tender taint. But, oh, dude, okay. I, it, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting there. Did I'm, you say tender taint? He did. I did. It wasn't tender after this. That's also the, that's also in the running for the episode. <laughs> My, mine is like a leatherback turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome thing. It's awesome things this day. Dude, I was sitting there. I was. It's, Drenched with sweat, found like, hey, I'm like, I, got, I have to go, and <laughs> called the night early. Searched. You literally have to go. It, yeah. Very much so. Left, and she was out on Hall Road. I was still in Dearborn at the time, so it was like a 45 minute drive home. And I could, I found the first Wendy's that I I could. Oh Wendy's. no! Wait, the first thing you no, found was you Wendy's? wrecked some dude's night at a Wendy's. <laughs> oh. That's why people are shooting people, Corey. I, Dude, I, I need I, to I, drop I, a. I need to. A pinch off a loaf here, and, and the only thing that it's gonna solve this problem. I, 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 I get Wendy's, it. Wendy's this isn't gonna be a freaking pinch off a loaf. The closest this thing on Hall Road batter. out of her okay, proximity, not yeah. like Wendy's has the cleanest bathroom. No, I knew, like I knew coming out of her complex that that was the first thing that might have a bathroom that I could access sure. immediately. But I get yeah. this without I, having to ask questions or keys or whatever. I get the symbolism, <laughs> the frosty soft serve. Oh, you're like okay, I get it. Seven two seven 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 two nine four five. The machine's always broken, so I figured I'd make some own my own frosties for him. <laughs> yeah, you hit hit that bathroom and destroyed it. When the when that happened to George on Seinfeld, he said he needed, he needed to go out for some soda. <laughs> 
And he goes, so so what did she say when you got back? He goes, I never went back. <laughs> so you no, just I, left her sitting there? <laughs> dude, I, I found I, I'm now, all I can envision now is a, the Wendy's dude rolling there going, hey, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it made it all in the bowl, but... It was oof. like a when mouth. you started telling that story, I'm like, I, I'm like, I think he may have told this in the on the podcast before. I feel like I, I might have, but no, don't stop. It, it's already speaking, going. Of Danielle. I think she just dropped herself on the floor. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck was that? I'm not really sure. <laughs> she probably dropped her iPad. Okay, well, she's taking a dump in your bathroom. So how was it? Well, have you ever <laughs> have you ever had a mouthful of Hershey syrup and sneezed into the porcelain bowl? Like that's kind of how it was. Oh, it, it, Thanks, it, it, fellas. I appreciate the 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 the, the male point of view. No, I I I, 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 I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I like said, I still don't shit in front of Mary. And you've been married for how many years? I can't remember. Two thousand. <laughs> it's a long time. Ma- ago. He's not good at marriage <laughs> math. Marriage math is like tough. It two, is tough. Oh, Seventeen years. Seventeen years. That's a long fucking time. That is a long Fuck time. Yeah. She, she runs a tight ship. No, no. Tighter, tighter than we thought. I, I don't. Know that, I don't know that she'd care, but I'm like, oh. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a gentleman. And she what, be. what if tomorrow you just decided to adopt a completely different stance, and you're like, I've been here. We've been together for 17 years. I'm going out. And to I'm just gonna freaking drop deuces all over the house. Yes. Yeah. L- legitimately, uh, in each of your eight bathrooms, you're gonna follow her wherever she goes in the house, and make sure that you're in that bathroom taking a shit. Yeah, sir. It's, it's easy when you can go to a separate wing and fucking. <laughs> yeah. This is the pooping wing. That's why you have the wings, because I don't poop in front of ladies. I guess so. Yep. Hashtag yep. Uh, fucking like, rich man. That's props. how you've avoided her uh, while while shitting for 17 years. <laughs> Todd's like. I'm I, not kidding. I do not poop in front of ladies. You know how I avoid Danielle? And, I keep the door open. And if, so and if I was in a one, if there. I was in a one bedroom, like I'd be tearing up the yeah. Wendy's like two miles away. Todd's uh, a, if I was in a one bedroom, in a one the, bedroom, one the bath. poop wing bathroom is all tans. It's painted in all tans in case there's an accident. Yep. Oh, that was she. 100%. She she had a roommate at the time too, so I really couldn't. Destroy yeah, her but I, 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 hold on, I don't give a fuck about a roommate. I oh. I. Sadly, would that roommate have you're a, you're a bully. 86 year relationship because of her thoughts about your pooping in, in the apartment? You're I don't bully. think so, but then why do you care? An apartment though, it was, dude, in, it was like it was like our such, like third date. You're in such close proximity. You don't want to do that. That's what I I, That's, and I, I would have been terribly embarrassed. For like I said, it was it was I think I, our third date. I, that this, I, this actually, happened. I actually went on a first date <laughs> and I, I would have been 30, mortified. 30 minutes in had a problem. That was not going to resolve itself. And the BGs, <laughs> I need it, and it was not a quick problem. And it was one of those like everything okay in there? Yeah, no, it, it was. It no. was. See, I think, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And Corey, you avoid that at all costs. Actually, I just realized something. Corey is a much better. All of you are much better men than I. Because literally, if if you my just first, now realized that, no, uh, yeah, it, isn't that funny? Just realized it. Yeah, because if Mary served served me a meal. Where immediately I had to take the dump of all dumps because I felt like I got poisoned, and I, and I and I was so wounded that I couldn't leave her house. Like I'd be mean, like, we we'd never see each other again. Like it wasn't it wasn't her. Fu- I mean, she likes wheat noodles. I, you she my, cooked my the body food. Apparently okay. rejects okay. them. Okay, I let's let's. This just is say how this. you learn about another person, like, there's, Corey. There was we've never had wheat noodles since. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There was something gastrointestinally going on. It was not the wheat noodles. It just happened to be. Uh, oh. like a melange of of uh, different melange. things. That's mixed. a three dollar word, you I've, son I've of a bitch. Together. Melange, had, spell I've it, had... spell it. Okay, this is the any special cast. characters you need. Spell cast. <laughs> Accent de goo. Well, I, I showed you up on the you? show to listen to the schnoz cast, and you guys were spelling, and I turned it right off well, because I used word like melange. All right, Thurston, come on, maybe, Thurston. Maybe that's the thing that's going to break us viral, boys. A spe- spelling. A spelling podcast. Spelling. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. My melange. All right. And with that, let's, uh, I, I think this is going to be a good smooth transition into booze news. It's and now fun. it's time for booze news. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do Funko this. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I, 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 I would not do that to you. That would have been the perfect transition. <laughs> uh so I, I know a, a few of us have some booze news articles here, so uh, so I'll I'll do this one real quick. Um, Joan Soda, given that uh, 
Thanksgiving is coming up soon, has released a, a new flavor called uh, Joan's Special Release Turkey and Gravy Soda. What? Oh. Right. No. I knew you would. I knew the corner no. would be in. Dude, their, their cream soda is the absolute Yeah, because so. cream sodas are sweet. Sodas shouldn't be savory or salty. Exactly. That's just gross. But Corey, let let yeah. let, let me let me drop this little fucking oh, nugget. Don't say deuce because <laughs> Corey's already said that's the absolute <laughs> shit, and nugget. I feel like we need to be sensitive about the subject. It we're just feels like about. nugget I, is a sh- close second. Should I use corpuscle again? Yes. <laughs> All right. Of information or melange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine substituting the water liquid content of making stovetop with this. I drink it. Uh, I know you not would. drink it. I'm saying put this in your stovetop instead of oh, water. Uh, use the turkey and gravy flavored but fucking it's soda. soda though. Mm. That tastes like turkey in fucking gravy. Well, we assume exactly. that's what it tastes like. That's what it's. Titled, I don't think it's, it's horrible. Horrible idea. <laughs> All right, it's just, I, it's just <laughs> dumbassery. I'm, yeah. tra- I'm tracking a bottle. Tom Foolery. I'll send you the link. Uh, there are 59 in stock. Uh, they oh are 32.99 a piece. What? There's 59 in stock. That's it. Well, that's oh, they sold oh, 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 $32 back it up. a bottle. They sold 288. Beep, beep, beep. There's only 59 Back that left bitch in stock. up, Bob. How much are they a piece? 30, $32. 32.99 a piece. That's what I'm talking about. But it's send free ground, the, free ground shipping. Free ground shipping. And I'll send you the link. No returns. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no return. That's like, oh, disgusting soda that costs thirty two dollars a bottle. I'll bathe in it. There are limited. No, no, no. no supplies no. are much, limited. Much, much like my uh, Halloween candies, which are halls for everyone's <laughs> edification. <laughs> I hand okay. out halls to the children. Yeah. Uh, I want to. You guys will be getting these beef gravy and mashed potatoes okay, sodas t- for Christmas t- from me, Todd. Just so you know, um, there's probably been uh, seventy eight times that you've told us that we will be receiving things from you <laughs> and not one of those times has anything ever showed up we were getting shirts yep. we were getting all kinds of different things you asked if for you, our sizes if you guys would fucking sip a cup of fucking act right you might get into that damn thing send me a link bob all right let, let's let's put our money where our, where our mouths are here if you're listening to this show and you want this. and you want to see one of us drink an entire bottle on air on camera yes. on the episode of and i'll pay Jones. for it Special release turkey and gravy soda. Text or call us at 618-SHOCKER and let us know. Dude, yeah. I, I can carbonate some turkey broth for free. I don't have to fucking charge you $32. Hold on. But the Jones Company has a, a, a long storied history of yeah. making flavored sodas. I would trust them more than I would trust Oh, you thank you. And you're and that's pretty right, smart. Because I was going to say, turkey if, you guys, if you guys drink some of his homemade broth, <laughs> then, then definitely I will be sending you mine. <laughs> Fair Fair enough. All right. Well, the, the next time Bob asks for a pickup, I'm going to just replay that. This has line, nothing to do with the pickup. That line of I trust Jones Soda more than any of you guys here. So <laughs> To make me a turkey and gravy soda. Yes. <laughs> this is my all organic bra. Do I trust Jones Soda to pick me up for a podcast episode? No. You you are the, the, uh, the, no, the, ki- stop the there. king. Nope. That's the it. The king of pickups, that's the end. sir. All right, Todd Dillon, you had a uh, booze yes, sir. news, sir. I'll, I do. I'll step back here and uh, give I you do. the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I can't, I, this is kind of, it's not a grievance, it's an annoyance, but this this, this just this blew me away. An Iowa man claps 1,140 times in one minute for a world record. He, oh, so he, he did what? How many times? An Iowa man claps. One thousand claps. He's a clapper. Okay, got it. I'm reading you the the title. I of thought the you said story. collapsed. No, no, claps. Got it, dude. You know I got an injury on my face, bro. Why are you why are you hitting on my speech impediment? <laughs> anyway, I just want to make sure what I heard. And of course, it's in Iowa because there's nothing else to do, I guess, than eat blue cheese and watch corn grow. Okay, Iowa man. Did you say blue jeans? Blue cheese, motherfucker. Uh, your, your speech is not quite clear. He's I'm old. Really he's, sure. a, he's old, Todd. I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> anyway, Iowa man claps 1,140 times in one minute for a world record. So if you do anything 1,000 times in a minute, I'm I'm going to be impressed with it. But I'm let me, let me read you the story. This is... <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Okay. An Iowa man broke a Guinness World Record. And why this is a world record? Because now it should be like, how many? I farted 2,000 times in two years. Again, this is a, who counts shit like this? An Iowa man broke a Guinness World Record by clapping his hands 1,140 times in one minute. Dalton Meyer, 20 years old, from Davenport, said his interest in speed clapping began when he was in elementary school and he saw a YouTube video. <laughs> He saw YouTube when he's a kid. I guess they didn't even know what a YouTube was when we were kids, Bob. Uh, anyway, uh, Kent, because Kent French, who was once known as, known as the fastest clapper in the world, it came naturally to me. It was like I, I didn't even have to practice, Meyer told the Quad City Times. The Quad City Times. Really, I just, for some reason, knew how to do it. Meyer said his record, record attempt used the wrist clapping technique developed by a previous Guinness World Record holder, Eli Bishop, who managed 1,103 claps in one minute. Wrist clapping is a technique that involves using the wrist and finger fingers to slap the palm of the other hand. Myers worked with Charm Media in Genes Genesea, Illinois. Genesequa. <laughs> Maybe it is. It's G E N E S E O, Shenisequa, Illinois, to make sure his official oh, attempt man. was properly filmed in both real time and slow motion, as well as recorded with a proper audio to ensure his 19 claps per second were properly counted for the Guinness Book of World Records. The record was attempted in March, but Myers did not receive official word until Halloween, motherfuckers. So, I, okay, you can clap I, nineteen times uh, a second. I'm sorry. This motherfucker just won a contest doing it, and a contest that I didn't know anybody was in. Todd, I have no beef with this contest or this article, but I will say, going forward, if any of us are reading the name of a place where something happened and we don't know how to pronounce it, just fucking, just wing it, and pretend like you're right. And none of us will question you. If you had just said Je ne sais quoi, Louisiana, we'd have been like, all right. Yep. Got to look that up, but okay. Sounds legit. John. And Bob Rankin did tell me two weeks ago uh, 20 times per second that he clapped them cheeks. That's, that's what he said. <laughs> quote, unquote. Clap them cheeks. So, unquote. so Bob, Bob, I, I'm, I'm down, and I, I promise I'll do this from now on. All right. So here, can I read that sentence one more time? Yeah, go ahead. Meyer worked in Charm. Meyer worked with Charm Media Group. <laughs> Start again. Uh, off to a bad start. <laughs> Start again. <clears throat> let, me, let, me get my, let me get my. Let me read this copyright. Okay. My, do, Meyer yeah, worked. This. this helps. Yep. Yep. Meyer worked with Charm Media Group in Greensboro, Illinois. Oh. To make sure his official attempt was properly filmed in both real time and slow motion, as well as recorded with proper audio to ensure each of his nineteen claps per second could be properly counted by the Guinness Book of World Records. Well done, sir. Wow. Thank you. Greensboro spells. Todd Dillon, everyone. That was G-E. Like wine for my ears. Right? N-E-S-E-O. No, no, but no, don't spell it, because then we're going to go like, that's not what you said. That that spells another word entirely. Just, I think just we, pronounce it like you will and yeah. leave it at that. I think what got you it. meant to say was Genovese basil. <laughs> See, that's the shit you got to put up with if you spell it, it after you pronounce it. Got it. All right, what do you got here for us, Corey? This is the video of the fast clapper. Okay. Kent. I'm Kent French. But you can call me Toast. Turns out I am the world's fastest clapper. I will not be calling Not you. anymore. This is number two, bitch. Most claps in the minute. 721 times in one minute. <laughs> That's a rate of 12 claps per second for 60 seconds. So I I'm going to do a little demo. I don't like this guy. How that all works. First part is a warm-up. And then the second part gets into the ultra fast. And that's yeah. what I'm saying, Bob. Yeah, let's get to the clap. None of these fuckers will be my friend. Here. 
I'm embarrassed for all of us. That is not, I'm sorry, that's not 12 or 14 per second. You don't think so? Thank you. One. One second. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That, there's not that many claps. You're not even hearing that many slaps. I'll give him credit for that. No, I won't, give it, I won't give anybody credit for that, Bob, because you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to set the world record for the number of times I can say push up, sit up, mountain climber, jumping jack. <laughs> In one I, minute. I did not like how smug and happy with himself he looked. I'm like, this guy's a douche. I will never call him Toast. Exactly. I will call I'll him call, only I'll toast. call him many of names, but not on air. <laughs> <laughs> Push up, sit up, mountain climber, jumping jack. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone else got booze news? No, sir. <laughs> oh, there we go. You can't follow the fast clap, Rick. Okay? I, I would say, let's see you do that, Todd. <laughs> yeah, can you put there that on the screen? <laughs> I feel like that was the sound you're making in the last episode, only there was some lotion involved. Okay, that's so the one. Stop. <laughs> oh, Corey fell asleep again. All right, and with that, <laughs> very soothing. <laughs> with that, and he's rock hard. Let's go to gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's <laughs> agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. Oh, gentlemen's agreement. Oh, it's the motherfucking gentlemen's agreement. Buttery smooth down to the bottom. That is badass. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you that's do how it. You do that's it. That's how you do it. That's a true professional. That's how they do it. Like we've been doing this for over 200 episodes. Yeah. It's the motherfucking gentleman's agreement. Ooh. Love it. That was close. I, bet, I didn't yeah. even need to play it. I could have just said Todd. That's so Todd, I was like, yeah. <laughs> mm, man. Uh, Another wine glass upstairs just broke. <laughs> Todd, I apologize because uh, I, I don't know. You don't have anything else listed here other than... Uh, you have the National Lampoon story. Did you already give the? I don't did think you I did do that one. No, I didn't. I got skipped. Did you watch we didn't it? Do it. I did. Okay, I didn't let's do it. Bitch. Okay, you had. Okay, sorry. It was just from a few weeks ago. So you Work. had uh, drunk, stoned, brilliant dad story of National Lampoon. Corey, can I we did. get a, a friendly remainder about a remainder what the new and improved gentleman's agreement entails? The rules of operation. 30 seconds, no spoilers, that's it. Okay. Clarifying question. <laughs> no, and go. <laughs> is there a timer? There's not a timer. So a, if I went yeah. 31 seconds, it would be... We're uh, cutting it. On your honor, sir. Okay, so when do I start? Now. Go. go. Wait, I wasn't ready. Go. Okay. No spoilers, right? Go! Oh, what was... What was the name of the movie again, Bob? What in the hell? You watched it. I did. Tell me the name of it. <sighs> Seriously? Yes. Drunk, Stone, Brilliant, Dead, the story of the National Lampoon. Does it ring a bell now? It does. Okay. 30 seconds, no spoilers. Got it. It's how National Lampoon was founded. Uh, the founders were Doug Kenny, Robert Hoffman, Henry Beard. National Lampoon was really the was a, a newspaper parody thingy at harvard a bunch of uh very very uh well off well to do smart guys uh the starting of the national lampoon and, and really really that uh genre of kind of written humor coupled with actors so the so second city cast so think john belushi uh and uh gilda radner those guys actually worked for national lampoon so very very cool story of how it began and then the the, the dead part of the, the title is the one of the founders died mysteriously. Either he killed himself or he fell off the cliff because he was a druggie like the rest of the knuckleheads doing drugs back in those days. All right. Glad you liked it, man. I loved it. Yeah, I, was I gave a it a solid. I gave it a solid B. Nice. All right. Corey, you had rescued me. Well, I did. And this was, <clears throat> what, two weeks ago now? Uh, that I was on the... Three weeks ago. Three? Yeah, 15th. Oh, shit. Yep. 30 well, seconds, Bob. I'll tell you what. I'm 
68 episodes in. You sorry, what? 68, 68? episodes. Are they 15 minute episodes? <sighs> they're, no, they're probably 30 minute. Uh, 45. Okay. <laughs> How many you seasons liked are there? Seven. So you've got to be toward the end of the last season, or what? I'm on episode 15 of season five. There's 20 episodes Oof. in season five, and then all the following episodes. So you've been watching seasons. like nothing else since October 15th when I signed it to you. Just about. Okay. What's it called and again? Rescue Re- Me with Rescue Den- me. Dennis Leary. Have you not seen it, Todd? No. He's a fireman, right? Yeah. It's based around post nine eleven era. Um, dude, it's it's a it's a great show. It's it's hilarious. It's oh good. Um, I, I I've I've seen you give up uh, reviews of shows that you've watched for spite, and then said that I watched <laughs> yeah, no, fifteen episodes and I hated every one. That's why I want to start with that. Cursing, he going. starts the review by cursing. Though. Yeah, that, that's why I want to start with that. Okay, because I didn't know if you'd think that uh, I liked it or I, I was doing I it. I did not know. No, I was actually I was actually hoping to finish it. All of it prior to tonight, but the last three seasons all have 20, 20 to twenty two episodes per season. Yeah, there's a lot. As opposed to like the first seasons have thir- all have thirteen. Right. So that wasn't bad to get through. But now, when, once I pulled up the episode list today, I was like, "Oh man, yeah, there's no way I'm making through the right because I'm on." I think have you been doing any work during that time, or how are you watching like sixty eight episodes? We won't talk about that, right. but nice. Um, <laughs> you liked it. Well, and, and there's, it, like, so, like, Danielle, Danielle and I will watch a show, like, when I come home, whatever yeah. we have to, on. Have you gotten her hooked on it, too? No, she, like, she'll fall asleep immediately, at, like, halfway through our show that we're supposed to watch, and then Got I it. turn on, I've been turning on Rescue Me. So, yeah, man, you know, it, it's absolutely, it, it's, it's a great show. A lot, a lot of drama. Um, Sometimes, some of it can be a little, little over the top. Yeah. Which, like I told you, was one of my concerns, I think, when it first came out, why right. I never watched it. Right. Um, But, dude, uh, like, uh, Lieutenant Shea. Yeah, his character I think is one of the best out of out of all of them. As a matter of fact, one of the episodes I was watching today, uh, they were showing these kids at at the hospital. They were cancer patients. They took all the rigs and everything over to them, and 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 were showing them the rigs and all that. Uh, a kid ends up stealing one and taking it on this joyride. And right. the one of the firefighters, uh, Mikey the Proby, he was in the back with some of these kids, and. They're all freaking out, and he, at first he's he's real calm, and you, they portray him. He's a a young dude, uh, has like a, a kind of a higher pitch voice, like very high pitch, calm, like uh, subdued voice. And so he's in the back with these kids, and he's like, "Oh no, no, it's we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay, everything's." And the the little girl is like, "Oh, okay," and she, you just like see her like relax, like, "Oh, this firefighter's telling me everything's okay," and yeah. They take one turn and this shrill that he was on, he goes, Oh my fucking God, we're going to die. <laughs> and I just lost it. I, I started laughing my, my ass off at it. Um, and, and, oh, dude, but talk about not a PC show. Yeah. Uh, like people talk about The Office, like how The Office wouldn't be able to air nowadays. Right. The Rescue Me, that, that is, it's on a whole other level. Like, yeah. W- one of the titles of the episodes is Retards. Yeah. Yeah, and so and the stuff that's thrown around in the show, as far as you know, language about you know homosexuality and you know people's mental states and all, that, like it's it's insane. So if you're if you're sensitive to that, definitely don't watch it because <laughs> it's it's by no means a PC show whatsoever. Um, but no man, it's a, it's a great great show. And like I said, I, I I wanted to finish everything tonight by tonight, but I, I still got a little bit. You could have lied to me and said I haven't finished yet. No, because I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to bring you the actual. If I finished it all, I wanted to bring you the actual ending and what I thought about the ending. Oh, I want to hear. It. Yeah, you, we could do a follow up. Sorry, yeah. Todd, you had a question. I did. My question is: So, Corey, have you seen like Chicago Fire or any of those shows? No, man. I, 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 and I, <clears throat> I, I just on. wanted to get. A, I wanted to see. I wanted to give yeah. you. A, I wanted to do a comparison. And and I, I think sadly enough, I, I have I, seen them both, and I will tell you, Rescue Me is nothing like those shows. Nothing like those shows. But is but here, let me hear me out. Similarly, uh, NYPD Blue is nothing like Chicago PD. So is it that, and that, and they're around the same genres, right? The same well, times. I, I I think we can solve this really quickly by me putting Rescue Me, and also every me, you, me and Corey putting Rescue Me on our list of shit to assign you. There you go. Yeah. Um, and I love the review because I really I assigned it to you, obviously, because I thought that you would really like it. 
And I've definitely struck out with having felt the same way with other shows or movies. Uh, but as much as I love that review, you must understand you just broke your own rule for giving reviews. I know. I went way over the time, but that's all right. I'm, but I'm good with it. I, this I, is exactly yeah, good. I don't want to screw up this segment too much. I don't. Either. I like it. So, um, yeah. The one thing, and I, I think because like t- with Todd asking about um, Chicago Fire, mm-hmm. I, I and this is it's sad to, to say that this is how my my mind was at at one point. But I was so like deep in law enforcement, dedicated to just that. And when Rescue Me came out, I was like, "It's a firefighter show. Like, I'm not going to watch that." Right. Um, I'm not going to. I don't now that watching all these episodes back to back to back. Like damn, I should have looked into firefighting before I looked into law enforcement. <laughs> hey, uh, you certainly know enough firefighters. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I mean, uh, talk to them. I have to get my ass into shape real quick. Well, all right. So thank you for that. Uh, I had to watch Unsolved Mysteries from Nick. Now he did not. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. He, he specified, specified a season. He specified. Um, Hey, watch the watch the latest season because uh, there's the original from the '80s with Robert Stack, and then they brought it back in the last like five years. Not the like, last two years. Uh, really? Okay, yeah. So very very recently, uh, I yep. did not. I ignored that and I watched uh, two episodes from the original Robert Stack series on that was on Hulu, and then I went to Netflix and I watched two episodes from the most recent season for Unsolved Mysteries. Um, and I, I gotta say, uh, the, the original ones really gave me a lot of, um, you know, nostalgia for that time where I was a young man. I didn't watch him at that time, but I certainly, I knew Robert Stack from airplane. I know Nick has never seen airplane. So he f- views Robert Stack as being creepy. Mm. Right. He's just, he's, but he's just me, the unsolved like, mysteries guy. He's like, mm. you know. You're coming in too fast, Striker. You know, that, yeah. that he's yeah. not creepy to me. So I didn't have that suspension of disbelief when it comes to Robert Stack being the host. But that being said, it was a document. It's a documentary about essentially unsolved mysteries. But the, the cool part is that a lot of them were solved through the course of the show. And uh, sometimes they put that at the end of the episode that the case was actually solved. So that... That part, the fact that some of them were solved, really sold it to me, and, and it and it, it caused me to grade them higher because of that. Otherwise, when I watch the newer ones, I don't like the fact that there's no host. I, I, I like the fact that they gave a tribute to, and this might be a slight spoiler, but the new episodes on Netflix, there's a little tribute to Robert Stack. Right at the end of the, of the, of the opening credits, his silhouette is in the is in the, you know, splash screen. So you could tell that it's him. If you had followed, and obviously if you're just starting out with the new Unsolved Mystery shows, you don't know who the fuck that is, but the silhouette is of Robert Stack, and I thought that was very, very cool that they did that. Yeah. But I missed the fact that there was no host walking you through the case. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I I, I, I've watched both of them myself, too. Yeah. And and like you said, with, with, there, there are some a, a lot of positives to the new one. Um but yeah, not not having that introduction and that that host there, uh, it does kind of take away from it a little bit, right? Um, but so, but it, my thing for you, so you yeah. you like having an outcome, and that, yeah, I, I mean, you you and and Nick have assigned me so many documentaries, uh, and I, and I'm trying to put the ones about serial killers behind me. So let's just focus on the non serial killer documentaries. A lot of them are. Uh, based on hearsay, based on interviews by people with sketchy memories, et cetera, et cetera. So the fact that they actually solved a mystery or a a crime, you know, murder was solved, um, that's concrete. That's, you you can, that's a truth. You can't deny that. And that was closure that a, a lot of those documentaries you designed to me about, you know, various topics never had. And I really, really liked that. So would I continue to watch Unsolved? It's definitely on my list to be like, I probably should explore a little bit. I'm not sure whether I liked more the nostalgia of the 80s 
ones or the new ones yet. Clearly, the newer ones look better. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. not I mean, in like that four grainy. three. They're in widescreen. They're and they're shot well, and and they and they generally flow a lot better because they've they've had decades to learn how to, uh, do, how to do it, how to produce that show. Yeah, the older ones are tougher to watch. It, it doesn't flow. It's stilted. It's um, sometimes a little slow. Relies a lot on. Uh, that's why they brought in Robert Stack to fill in the gaps right. from the people who are trying to give testimony who are really not made for television at all. So the newer ones are a little bit smoother, but you know, if you've never watched it, I, I would highly recommend it. I don't, there's really not much you can spoil for this. Um, but if that's your thing, if documentaries are your thing, but you, you enjoy a, a conclusion that kind of wraps things up with the bow sometimes, not all the time, sometimes, that's the that's the what I took away as being the best part about it. All right, yeah, so I, I can go either way. Like, if there isn't a conclusion, it, it's not going to be the end of it for me. But yeah, there are some ones I'm like, yeah, I, I, I like that. Danielle, every time she's like, I, I need like I need a follow. What happened this. to that guy? Yeah, right. like how how is there no like I, I so the I, end we're going to we will. So hopefully, uh, hopefully someday we'll find out, but it looks like we may never know. You're like, fuck you. <laughs> she, she gets very upset about it. Yeah. So, cause even, even like, uh, I went on a kick for a while watching, um, restaurant impossible with, uh, okay. chef Robert Irvine that goes in these old shitty, basically it's, it's bar rescue. It was, it was bar rescue before bar rescue. Okay. Good. And at the end of every episode, she wanted a hard breakdown of like, how are these restaurants doing today? Are they still open? Are they making profit? Yeah. And at the end of every episode, she'd be around that I'd watch. She would actually go onto the Food Network channel or website and actually look up right. what these, you know, what these businesses were doing. Yeah. And at, at a certain point, I was watching so many of them, like, ah, I don't really fucking care if they're still open or not. <laughs> I don't care. I just like to see that they were built back up. But yeah, she wanted to know, like, oh, are they still open today? And yeah, she looked every single one up. Okay. So I, I, I personally couldn't do that, but. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's then do uh, new assignments for for next episode or as soon as we can get around to it. Um, based on the algorithm, I have Todd, Corey, you have me, and Todd, you have Corey. Ooh. <clears throat> so while you guys are thinking, I can go first because I think this is going to be super super fucking easy. Uh, Todd, yes, sir. You got rescue me. <laughs> I guess that is easy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I had a ton of other shit I could have given you, but I, I feel like after tonight, like I, if I don't do that, I'm missing a huge opportunity. Yeah, yeah, okay. What what network is it on? Where'd you watch it, Corey? Hulu. Yes. Perfect. And you got all the seasons on Hulu, right? Unless there's more than seven. Uh, no, no, there's not, because I actually looked up the season breakdown. There, okay, so yeah, no, okay, yes. Yeah, so, so they're all there. So yeah, Todd, that's your challenge. You have 68 episodes to watch before next Saturday. Okay. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, uh, Corey got me, or Todd, you got Corey, whoever wants to go first. Bob, you have uh, Dahmer, Monster. Fuck. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. See, Corey's tough like you, Bob. He's but hold everybody. on. I know that you liked this. I think I've been very clear about serial killer documentaries. Very, 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 very clear. You think that I would like this? Is that the documentary yeah, or the uh, the the? It's it's a it's a series. It yeah, doesn't matter you, either way. You'll be fine. You'll be you fine. You think that I would like this? Because this is just be like me assigning you another like a, like Alien, Alien Three. And you going like, dude? You know I don't like sci fi. I'd be like, no, but I really think you're gonna like this. You feel pretty confident. Yeah. You you know the odds against you getting anything higher than a D are very slim. <laughs> I love it. You really think that this is the one that's going to turn me around on serial killer documentaries? It could be. <sighs> All right, dude. I'm going to fucking barbecue you next time we're on here if if it doesn't go your way. Just so you're that's prepared, fine. okay? All right, that's what I'm taking. So, like I said, Corey's hard. Corey, have you seen Goliath? No. There you go. And just so you're interested, Todd. Yes, sir. I also, I also haven't. Seen Goliath? Right. 
Okay, good. It, good, good, good just for, for future reference. Yeah, yeah if you're I like looking it. for shit to, it, it's often difficult for yep. those of us, unlike Nick, who actually watch movies and TV with some regularity and like to expand horizons to yeah, remember, yeah, like, like what, I, what can I, I give you? But, but like I said, you, you two are the by far, well, it makes. That's me. why I wanted to tell yeah. you. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. All right. Appreciate it, fellas. Um, now we may not get to this for for a couple of weeks, but uh, so just so folks are aware, like anyone's listening to this and taking notes, uh, <laughs> we've got in in just a couple of weeks we've got uh, a live episode coming up. We're going to do episode two hundred. So I honestly don't know where this is going to fall. Uh, this may be the one that we release as one ninety eight. I'm not really sure. At any rate, please watch our social media. We're going to put a little bit of advertising out there just to say, you know, hey, here's the date we're going to go live on uh, either YouTube or Facebook. We're going to try to kind of figure it out. Um, but we're, we're definitely going to go live on one of those platforms. Uh, please follow us. We, we want to get your involvement. We want to make sure that you are uh, that you know what's coming up and so that you can listen or watch. Uh, it's going to be at a reasonable hour so that uh, if you've got kids, you can – you know, put him to bed. You don't have to stay up until two in the morning and so on and so forth. It's not going to be on a Tuesday night. You're going to have time to pour yourself a drink. Join us when it comes to that sort of stuff. We want your involvement. We're going to have, um, uh, depending upon the platform, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, we're going to have uh, comments open so that you can, you know, send us your feedback. Uh, maybe you have questions for us to, to answer during sections like uh, Nick's existential question of the week uh, for some answers to give on that. So definitely do that. Uh, we can't wait to do it. We're so excited. We can't fucking believe that as a group we've gotten to episode 200. So please join hey, us then. Yeah, Todd. Hey, yeah, we should, and we should tease that, that uh, if pe- people are listening to this and they're paying attention, they should, put, they should definitely either dial into the shocker line or send us an email so that we can do some truth or, truth or dare on that, on that live episode. Truth or dare is what you want to do? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How are we going to fucking do truth, truth that- or dare let the freaking how know. in the let, fuck let let the let the guests tell us what they want us to do. Look, if you want to poke the bear like that, I guess that's what we're doing. So uh, you 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 should know the shocker line six one eight shocker gauntlet the shocker. Absolutely, do it. We are Truth willing dare, to baby. Throw out, pull out all the stops. This is two hundred episodes. We never thought we'd, that we get this far. We certainly don't expect that we're uh, going to be alive. I definitely didn't think you would. That's for why I'm here. Another two hundred. So um, so we can't wait to do it. Please follow us on social media, and we'll drop clues with plenty of time for you to put that episode in your calendar and join us. Anything else to add, fellas? Or don't follow us, and you'll be missing out on a bunch of cool, funny stuff. You'll be assholes. Mute. I'm not I'll begging. I'll mute Todd right now if you want. I'll <laughs> drop him off the entire thing. <laughs> You're like, um, Please follow us on social media. I will if say you know- this. I will say this. Uh, we're going to be putting out some some promotional information in regards to the the live episode. Yeah, there's going to be something that you're going to want to see. There's going to be something special for the live episode. So make sure yeah. you tune in. You heard Word here, folks. to the mother. Even Word I don't know what the fuck he's talking. News None of us know what he's talking Word about. Word so to the mother. I tune in to see about. how surprised the rest of us are as at whatever that is. <laughs> and by the way, if you don't live in the continental United States. We still want we, we want you to join. We want to hear. We, we know for sure that there are at least one or two people in various countries outside of our outside of this continent. So we, we taught a guy English. Absolutely. Capri. Not very well, but Capri Bing Bong. We taught him. <laughs> and you can Capri. see the, the skill yeah. and the and the verbiage with which we taught him that language. So please join us. We want your involvement no matter where you are, no matter what time zone you're in. Even if you're from Ohio. Let's not get crazy. (laughs) (laughs) All right. With that, that's the episode. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time on Shazcast. Shazcast.